Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game and this time we have Bobby Fischer with the white pieces. His opponent was Manuel Wister, a chess game which was played in Morocco in 1967. We don't know much about Mr. Wister but probably he was a strong enough chess player as he was invited in this chess tournament and he was paired with Bobby Fischer himself. So let's see what happened in this pretty notable but not well-known chess game of Fischer, e4 by Fischer, best by test. And we have c6, the Karakan defense. And the most fashionable, desirable thing to do in this position is to play d4 and then developing the knight and all that chess. Uh, but Bobby Fischer is avoiding the theory and he played d3 and this is not the main line. Of course, d4 is the most played move and then developing the knight. So uh, this is uncommon, unknown waters for Mr. Wister. Fischer wants to create a creative, complicated mess for his weaker opponent. So f4 and uh, quickly mobilizing the army, developing the pieces by both players. Check and Bobby Fischer moves the king and knight gets in. Uh, so knight to e3 is possible and then bishop takes knight. Uh, maybe knight to f2 is also possible but after rook takes maybe pushing the pawn and the queen can get trapped so anyway uh, bobby fisher uh, simply pushed the pawn and uh, defending and then bobby fisher is developing his knight and then he's pushing the pawn and he is giving the walking papers to the knight giving the boot to the knight so knight goes back and then knight gets in Bishop up, so maybe black wants to castle, obviously, from the queen side. And Bobby Fischer is charging towards the center. And he has the space advantage in the center. So D takes, F takes, and forcing black knight to go back. And knight is getting in with a tempo, attacking the queen. And we have a very beautiful parking spot for the knight, knight to C5. A beautiful parking spot. So black finally castled but Bobby Fischer's bishop is getting developed and Fischer is aiming his bishop towards the queen. The queen is in the line of fire of the bishop. We have bishop to f5. Uh, you might wonder what happens if e6. It weakens the dark squares severely. So bishop to g5 defending the rook and knight can get in forking the king and the rook and this doesn't look very safe. So we see serious weakness in the dark squares. And if bishop to e6, this is probably even worse. Then white has this amazing, beautiful tactical shot. Knight takes on g6, boom, and then capturing the bishop, forking queen and the rook, and also attacking the bishop, it's game over. So bishop to f, uh, f5, and then Bobby Fischer simply pushes the pawn. That's a discovery attack to the queen, and also attacking the pawn. At move 18, Bobby Fischer simply uh, collapses. I mean, his opponent's position is collapses. Bobby Fischer had his opponent on the ropes. So defending the queen, what else? And Fischer simply gets in and we have knight to f6. Why not knight takes on f7? Can you see what happens? Then simply eliminating f5 puppy and then knight to e6, forking the rook and the bishop. Black is losing the exchange or the piece. So knight to f6 and then simply Eliminating the knight, bishop takes, and then simple chess, knight takes bishop, and black's position is collapsing, and queen to e2, Fischer is aiming some of the tender squares, and his knight is also perfect. Queen takes on b2, but this is actually helping white. It opens potentially the b-file, we have check, it opens the b-file for the rook, so blocking with the knight, if moving the king, again rook to b1, and that's game over after moving the queen. A rook can land on b7, so knight to d7. Fisher simply eliminates the knight. What else? Rook takes. Rook takes. Can you see why Bobby Fisher simply captured the knight? Instantly, can you spot the best move for white? White has a very beautiful move in this position. Can you see that? Look carefully. Okay, if you are ready, queen takes bishop. But we have rook back and now black is threatening to take the queen. If rook takes, that's deflecting the rook queen and then capturing the rook. Beautiful stuff. So this is why Fisher captured. So there is only one rook left at the back. And rook goes back but Fisher simply checks. Blocking again if moving the king. Rook to b1. And Fisher played rook from a to b1. Queen up. And then 
rook takes on f5, queen takes on d4, and then bishop takes on c6, and black resigned, slashing, dashing attack by Fischer. Fischer was a little bit too strong for his opponent. So, of course, pushing the pawn was also winning, but if capturing the bishop, then check and mate. And if rook to c7, then promoting the queen, and basically black is getting checkmated by force. A very beautiful chess game by Bobby Fischer. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.